Hi guys, uh, today we're showing you a quick brew method, how to create a Japanese or a flash brew iced coffee. Today I'm using the single origin number four. Uh, it's from Uganda. It's really fruity, it's delicious, and it works really nicely in the summer as an iced drink, especially served black. Today I'm using 18 grams and we're using a V60 method. Typically when you use a V60, we're gonna do something like 18 grams to 300 milliliters of water. But today we want a cold drink. So we're gonna use 200 ml of hot water, boiling water, and 100 grams of ice down in the server. It's gonna allow you to brew hot and extract all the lovely flavor notes, but then chill the hot drink straight away in the bottom. So in here, I've got 100 grams of ice that I'm gonna to add to the server. And I'm gonna grind my coffee. We're using something slightly finer than a normal V60 grind. That's because you're not using as much hot water. So you've got to help it along a little bit to extract some more flavor. Got my paper filter now. Just going to give that a quick rinse with some boiling water. Importantly, don't melt the ice with your rinse water. Okay, that's fully hot now. Paper's nice and rinsed, so you're not gonna get any of that papery taste. I'm gonna add my 18 grams. And I'm gonna brew. So what I like to do first is add about 50 to 60 grams of hot water just at the start. So we can bloom the coffee and get any CO2 out of the grounds. Just give that a nice swirl to get all of the grounds saturated. And I'll let that sit for about 30 seconds. Okay, it's been about 30 seconds. So now I'm just gonna slowly top it up all the way to 200 mil. And I'm using a scale here just so I can be really accurate and repeatable. And once I'm at about 200 mil, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stop pouring and I'll give it a swirl just to make sure everything's nicely saturated and mixed properly together. That's 200. I'll just give it a final swirl. And you're probably aiming for about a two minute brew time. Uh, a normal V60 will usually take somewhere between three and four minutes, but because you're not having as much water, it will probably be a little bit faster. And you should start to see the ice dissolving in the bottom. And there's many other brew methods you can do this with. Um, at home, I really like doing it with an AeroPress. Um, you can let it steep for a much longer amount of time. So the small amount of water can really extract everything out of the coffee and then chill it down immediately. But this still works really nicely in the V60. We'll just watch it slowly drain. So it looks like we're nearly finished. And you should be left with potentially a few ice cubes. So if you just give it a swirl, they should at some point melt. And if the liquid's not cold enough, um, if the finished brew is too warm, maybe reduce the amount of water that you're using and use a little bit more ice. So grab a glass with some fresh ice and you're ready to serve. Nice.